You hear a lot of people when, when they're dieting, they completely try to avoid red meat. And the reasoning is that red meat is higher in fat. That's not true with all red meats. You hear, look at here, like a, a ribeye, as you can see all the marbling, and it is high in fat, which is also why ribeye tastes amazing. But if you look at the round, this is a uh, eye of round. <laughs> I believe bottom round and top round are even lower in fat. So if you look inside the part of, of a round steak, there's very little marbling. Most, most of the fat is around the outside edge where you can cut off. When you, so when you eat something like this, you're looking at maybe four grams of fat for three ounce serving, maybe five grams of fat, where a chicken breast is only three to four grams of fat for, for uh, three ounce serving. So they're almost the same level of fat where, where red meat, in my opinion, tastes much better than chicken, especially when you're eating six meals a day of chicken day in, day out. Agreed. Here's my favorite cut of steak for low carb days, flank steak. It's a little, little fattier than a round steak. It's, it's still much better than things like, uh, uh, like ribeye or T-bone or something. But the main reason I like flank steak, besides its general leanness, is that nothing reheats better in the microwave than flank steak. If you cook a round steak, and it, it, you can make it taste pretty good on the grill or something for that meal. But if you're baking it and packing it in a, pa in a Tupperware container that you're going to take to work, when you reheat that round steak, in my opinion, it tastes horrible and rubbery. Where a flank steak reheated tastes almost as good as it does cooked the first time. And so that's why I try to eat flank steak as much as possible in my low-carb days, when I'm, especially when I'm packing meals and taking them to work. Yeah, awesome.